Hey guys, I'm Bria Tadakin Williams with Cobalt Banker Real Estate Advisors here in Manhattan. We are already pushing right into the middle of December, which means all of the month end data for November is now ready. A lot of times in the real estate world, we have those end of the month closings. Those don't get inputted till the very first of the month. So it does take some time to get the most accurate data comp compiled. And here I am to give you that information. Uh, those of you who are on my mailing list, you get this hard copy. It's in the out in the mail right now. This looks at the broader market. This is essentially like the Junction City area as far east as Wamigo area on my social media this post that you guys will see this is the main hand specific area and so we'll do a little bit of uh, comparison with these two marketplaces because as we all know real estate is very very local uh, when we look at these broader numbers sometimes one community may have changes occurring at a faster pace than another community so it changes that average so let's go ahead and jump into that when we look at the average sales price for the broader market, that actually dropped about 4%. But when we look at Manhattan's broader area, that went up 10%. Um, so that's that average sales price. Days on market actually remained relatively unchanged for the two different market segments. The market as a whole is averaging 37 days on market, Manhattan specifically is 38 days on market. So that's right across the board. Again, going back to the Manhattan specific market, when we look at that, when we uh, reflect back on November, new listings increased by 23%. At the end of the month, the number of active listings still available on the market for purchase was actually down 7%. So that tells us there are still plenty of signed contracts being written. Uh, the interesting thing is um, we know what we hear on the news. We've heard what's happened this fall. Last fall, it got extremely <laughs> quiet. Uh, that was the first time we had rates kind of bump up higher than folks expected. That happened back in October, but interest rates have been slowly coming down since then. Uh, you know, we here in our area start to see the spring market take off after the new year. So a lot of agents, a lot of buyers, a lot of sellers are starting to get things ready, get them in place. So when that new year does get ushered in, they are ready to start taking the real estate world by storm. So again, if you guys have questions, things are very local from communities to different neighborhoods. Feel free to give me a holler. I am more than happy to be your real estate resource. Thanks, guys.